Section 2 of The Haunted Hour, an anthology by Margaret Wiedemer. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nemo. The Nicht Between the Sanks and Souls, Part 1 all souls by katherine tynan the door of heaven is on the latch tonight and many a one is fain to go home for one night's watch with his love again oh where the father and mother sit there's a drift of dead leaves at the door like pitter patter of little feet that come no more their thoughts are in the night and cold their tears are heavier than the clay but who is this at the threshold so young and gay they are come from the land o oh, the young they have forgotten how to weep words of comfort on the tongue and a kiss to keep they sit down and they stay a while kisses and comfort none shall lack at morn they steal forth with a smile and a long look back All Saints' Eve by Lizette Woodworth Reese. Oh, when the ghosts go by under the empty trees, here in my house I sit and cry, my head upon my knees. Innumerable white, like mist they fill the square. The bolt is drawn, the latch made tight, the shutter barred there. There walks one small and glad new to the churchyard clod my little lad my little lad a single year with god i sit and hide my head until they all are past under the empty trees the dead that go full soft and fast up to my chamber dim back to my bed i plod oh would i were a ghost with him and faring back to god A Dream by William Allingham I heard the dogs howl in the moonlight night. I went to the window to see the sight. All the dead that I ever knew, going one by one and two by two. On they passed and on they passed. Towns fellows all from first to last. Born in the moonlight of the lane, quenched in the heavy shadow again schoolmates marching as when they played at soldiers once but now more stayed those were the strangest sight to me who were drowned i knew in the open sea straight and handsome folk bent and weak too some that i loved and gasped to speak to some but a day in their churchyard bed some that i had not known were dead a long long crowd where each seemed lonely, yet all of them there was one, one only, raised a head or looked my way. She lingered a moment, she might not stay. How long since I saw that fair pale face? Ah, mother dear, might I only place my head on thy breast a moment to rest, while thy hand on my tearful cheek were pressed? On, on, a moving bridge they made across the moonstream from shade to shade young and old women and men many long forgot but remembered then and first there came a bitter laughter a sound of tears a moment after and then a music so lofty and gay that every morning day by day i strive to recall it if i may the Neighbors by Theodosia Garrison At first cock crow, the ghost must go back to the quiet graves below. Against the distant striking of the clock, I heard the crowing cock, and I arose and threw the window wide, long, long before the setting of the moon, and yet I knew they must be passing soon, my neighbors who had died. Back to their narrow green roofed homes that wait 
beyond the churchyard gate i leaned far out and waited all the world was like a thing impearled mysterious and beautiful and still the crooked road seemed one the moon might lay our little village slept in quaker gray and gray and tall the poplars on the hill and then far off i heard the cock and then my neighbors passed again at first it seemed a white cloud nothing more slow drifting by my door or garden lilies swaying in the wind then suddenly each separate face i knew the tender lovers drifting two and two old peaceful folk long since passed out of mind and little children one whose hand held still an earth-grown daffodil and here i saw one pausing for a space to lift a wistful face up to a certain window where there dreamed a little brood left motherless and there one turned to where the unploughed fields lay bare and others lingering past but one there seemed so over glad to haste she scarce could wait to reach the churchyard gate the farrier's little maid who loved too well and died i may not tell how glad she seemed my neighbors young and old with backward glances lingered as they went only upon one face was all content a sorrow comforted a peace untold i watched them through the swinging gate the dawn stayed till the last had gone a ballad of halloween by theodosia garrison all night the wild wind on the heath whistled its song of vague alarms all night in some mad dance of death the poplars tossed their naked arms and yon isa hath left her bed and bared her shoulders to the blast the long procession of the dead stared at her as it passed oh there methinks my mother smiled and there my father walks forlorn and there the little nameless child that was the parish scorn and there my olden comrades move and there my sister smiles apart but nowhere is the fair false love that bent and broke my heart oh false in life oh false in death wherever thy mad spirit be could it not come this night she saith and keep tryst with me mignon isa has turned alone bitter the pain and long the years the moonlight on the old grave's stone was warmer than her tears all night the wild wind on the heath whistled its song of vague alarms all night in some mad dance of death the poplars tossed their naked arms the forgotten soul by margaret Riedemer. twas i that cried against the pain on all souls night o oh, pulse of my heart's life how could you never hear you filled the room i knew with yellow candlelight and cheered the lass beside you when she cried in fear twas i that went beside you in the gray wood mist o oh, core of my heart's heart how could you never know you only frowned and shuddered as you bent and kissed the lass hard by you hand fast as i used to go twas i that stood to greet you on the churchyard pave o oh, fire of my heart's grief how could you never see you smiled in careless dreaming as you crossed my grave and hummed a little love song where they buried me all souls night by dora sigerson oh mother mother i swept the hearth i set his chair and the white board spread i prayed for his coming to our kind lady when death's doors would let out the dead strange wind rattled the window pane and down the lane a dog howled on i called his name and the candle flame burnt dim pressed a hand the door latch upon delish delish my woe forever that i could not sever coward flesh from fear i called his name and the pale ghost came but i was afraid to meet my dear oh mother mother in tears i checked 
the sad hours past of the year that's o'er till by god's grace i might see his face and hear the sound of his voice once more the chair i set from the cold and wet he took when he came from unknown skies of the land of the dead on my bent brown head i felt the reproach of his saddened eyes i closed my lids on my heart's desire crouched by the fire my voice was dumb at my clean-swept hearth he had no mirth and at my table he broke no crumb delish delish my woe forever that i could not sever coward flesh from fear his chair put aside when the young cock cried and i was afraid to meet my dear end of section two